mind I could be alone But you're never far from sight As far as we go and Through the darkest night I hope it brings you peace of mind I know we'll be alright No matter where you go Always on my mind I'm almost completely certain that cool moms don't have mugs that say cool mom. Yes, I bought this for myself. Hi, hello. Um, if you haven't been able to tell, I decided to vlog again this week. Should we talk about the elephant in the room? The bags? Yeah, they're Prada. Everybody else out here having hot girl summer and I'm just having tired mom summer. Anyway, yeah, I look like this because mm, I didn't work today. I woke up, took Benny to chemo. I will get there, but that's why I look like this. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to vlog again this week. And since Bentley has more chemo this week, um, which I'm taking him to three days of, I thought it would be fun to bring you along with to see his a little bit of his treatment. And also I will have more time to read. So I started two new books. The first one I started, I think the night before last, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm gonna read the small blurb. Four famous siblings throw an epic party to celebrate the end of the summer, but over the course of 24 hours, their lives will change forever i'm into it i basically will read anything that taylor jenkins read writes i've read all of her books except the last one uh before this which is daisy jones and the six which i own haven't read um i don't know why it has really great reviews i think it's like most people's favorite book from her so i'm excited to read it i am currently 85 pages into it and i'm really loving it so far um, I love books that have siblings in it. As far as my audiobook, I just started... What is it called? Survive the Night. I just started Survive the Night by Riley Sager, which is the same author of Home Before Dark that I listened to in my last vlog. This is his newest release. So, I started that, I'm about 25% of the way through. It's fine so far. I have heard mixed reviews, more negative than positive. I think this one, a lot of people are thinking is like just okay compared to his other four books. Um, I think this is the least favorite. And I'm still gonna read it though. It is basically about this girl who lives on campus and her best friend slash roommate was murdered and then she decides to travel home and this stranger like volunteers to drive her home and I think she's just like getting weird vibes from him and I don't know if it's gonna end up like tying into her friend's murder I don't know so today the plan is well first of all this morning I took Bentley to chemo. He had chemo at 8.15 and we were able to leave at around 10.30 or so. It is about a quarter after 12. I'll pick him up probably around 4.30 or 4.45. So on the agenda for now before I go pick Bentley up from daycare, I want to first and foremost clean my kitchen because it's a hot mess. And then I kind of want to plan and go to the grocery store and get a couple of things for dinner. And I might even stop at the winery by our house. We have a winery like 10 minutes away, which I just discovered like three months ago. We've lived here for three years and I just now found out about this winery. So I'm thinking about going and stocking up on some wine because I'm fresh out of my wine from the winery and they have just the best selection. I will update you later. Hopefully I will have read more of Survive the Night and hopefully it's good. Hope it brings you peace of mind. I know we'll be alright. If I mean alone, there's no place, no place. It's safe to this place of sight. If the mystery is solved like a cold case. And part ways, disgrace by a state of mind. Trick or 
been strange, wanna leave us out taste Been looking for my soul in the haste prime Getting kinda dull to this heartbreak As my heart shakes like the waves in a baseline Boom. I just got back from the grocery store. Um, let me get my reading update out of the way first. I'm now 46% of the way into Survive the Night and my feelings have not changed. It is just okay. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about my groceries. So I got all of this mess for our dinner which I also got chicken. I'm heating up water to boil the chicken right now. And then all of this for the dessert that I'm planning to attempt to bake. But I got a few things that were not on my grocery list and I thought I could talk about them with you. First of all, the winery by my house is apparently closed on Monday and Tuesday, so I couldn't go there. So I did pick up a couple bottles of Pino Grigio at the store. I like to test out different brands of like wines I like and Pino Grigio is my favorite wine. So these are two brands I have not tried before. If you have any recommendations for Pino Grigio or any other like drier wines, let me know because I love to try different things. And speaking of trying different things, I saw this, they are, gin um cocktails i don't know i've never heard of this brand they had a few different types there was like a vodka and a tequila one but i thought the packaging was so cute i had to get them so i will taste them out and yes founded owned and run by women we love it so i'll taste test this out with you guys later and then another thing I picked up was this pumpkin pie spice. I saw it right next to the smoked paprika that I had to get. But I got this because I always try to get this in the fall and I can never find it. So I had to pick it up off season, I guess. I don't know. Finally, I got this two-piece set of the Pioneer Woman casserole dishes. Um, I really love these. Austin and I got a two-piece. I don't know if you can see in the sink i just washed a blue one but uh we got a two-piece set of these for our i want to say wedding shower we really love them and the smaller one that came with that first set has since broken so i thought it would be nice to get another set have another smaller one and i don't know i just really loved this one it's always good to have extras and it was just really pretty i have a few things to say first of all if y'all aren't cutting your onions like this, either A, you are God's favorite, you are superior, and your eyeballs don't just like disintegrate into a puddle whenever you cut onions. Otherwise, if you are going through the struggle, girl, get you a pair of these. These are my uh, old lab goggles from college, but I'm telling you, they work wonders. Second of all, I had to tell you about these uh, little white plastic bins from the dollar store. I love them for everything meal prep. I love them for cooking. It is so hot outside. I am back home from picking Benny up from daycare. I'm sorry, Mickey Mouse is really loud right now. Not much I can do about it. Actually, I could do something about it, but I'm not going to. Our dinner and dessert is currently in the oven. Austin's gonna get off of work in like 10 minutes, so he should probably, probably, so he should probably, so he should probably be home in like 10 to 20 minutes. I thought it would be a good time to try with you guys these two chicks, sparkling apple gim gimlet, gimlet, I don't know. Look how pretty though. It's 5% alcohol, so similar to like White Claw um, or any of those other seltzers. I don't know if this is a seltzer. 
I also don't know that I've ever had gin before. So it says it's gin, apple, and cucumber cocktail. I don't think I've ever had gin. So I'm gonna crack it open. Here's some ASMR. Oh, it smells good. It just smells like green apple. It smells really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's really good. So it's not sweet. It has a really strong apple flavor. Can't really taste alcohol at all. So good. It's nice and light. Perfect for summer. Oh, this is my new favorite. Hello, good morning. It is now Wednesday. It's about 7.15. I'm just about to leave for work, but I wanted to give a quick update before I go to work. Did not end up reading anymore since I updated you last. I think I was just getting like a little bit burnt out from the Survive the Night audiobook and I just needed to take like a little bit of a break. So I did and I feel better and I'm ready to read today. I'm going to listen to my audiobook on my commute and hopefully get a bit further in that. I think I'm at about 46% right now. Last night, Austin got home from work and we ate our dinner, which turned out really good. And then put Benny to bed and then had our dessert, which also turned out really good. And we kind of just hung out. I talked to my mom for a little bit and then went to bed. Then this morning, Austin took Bentley to chemo. So they have to be there at 7.30, which means they left at 6.15 this morning, but I will be taking Benny the rest of the week, so tomorrow and Friday. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a whole lot of content for today because like I said, I have a work day. I'm gonna try to read tonight, but definitely stick around for tomorrow because Bentley doesn't have treatment until the afternoon tomorrow. So I'm going to have a lot of time in the morning to read. Do you want to see an outfit check? I'm going to show you anyway. So I'm wearing a dress. Hello, hi, striped dress with this cute little cropped black jacket. Both the dress and the jacket are from Old Navy. Oh, can't escape this, there's no way. Now hold it by the mistake. hello do not mind my wet hair i just took a shower obviously it is now thursday i didn't end up updating you anyway i didn't end up updating you yesterday because i didn't read yesterday i mean i did listen to a little bit more of my audiobook, but not much, and I just didn't really have an update for you. However, I'm not at work today because it's my day to take Benny to chemo. He doesn't have chemo until a little bit later this afternoon. So I dropped him off at daycare, came home, took a shower, got ready, and now I have a few hours actually before I even have to go pick him up to go to chemo. So my plan is Malibu Rising. I'm going to just try to read as much of it as possible before I have to get everything packed up and go pick Benny up for chemo. But I just wanted to update you, let you know my plan, and hopefully I can get a good dent into it because I'm only on page like 80 something now and I think it's like a 360 page book. And I want to finish it in the next couple of days. As far as 
Hi, how are you? It is Friday. Happy Friday. If you know, you know. I took Benny to chemo yesterday afternoon. We didn't end up getting home till like 6 p.m. And then we had to be back at the hospital at 9 a.m. this morning to do chemo again. But thankfully he is done until next week. So we have the weekend off of treatment. Yay. I do have a reading update, but I also stopped at the winery by our house. I am going to do a little haul of the wine I got from the winery, and I also want to update you on my reading. So I'm going to kind of do both at the same time to keep things interesting. If you don't like book content, you'll get wine content. If you don't like wine content, you're getting book content, you know? So big reading update. I finished Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Pause. The first wine I picked up is the Creekside wine. It's a dry white wine. I have had this one from them before. My taste in wine, I am more of a dry wine girl. So I gave Survive the Night three out of five stars. Somewhere between two and three stars. I was severely disappointed, especially after coming off of Home Before Dark last week, which I gave five stars. Very sad about it. The next bottle I picked up is the Creekside Red, which is just the red version of that one. So I think of these two like Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir. Just a dry red wine. Again, I've had this one really good. I'm a fan. <sighs> what to say about Survive the Night? You know in movies where somebody, especially in like scary movies, when somebody is just making such poor decisions that you're at a point where you're like I honestly hope you get caught like I hope you get murdered because you're making such bad choices that like you deserve to die you know that was this book <laughs> That was honestly the scariest shit of my whole life. I thought I heard the door to our garage, like the handle turning, like the handle turning, but no one's here. Well, that was slightly terrifying. And then I heard like, it sounded like someone was upstairs. I'ma just pretend none of that happened. Anyway, as I was saying, I can handle things not being like the most believable, but Girlfriend was just making like the worst and th most thoughtless decisions. Ever. So it was like distract. It was boring too. Cash said it best. The end had a little bit of a redeeming quality. Otherwise, it for sure would have been a two out of five stars. But the end, I did enjoy probably the last like 15%. The next one I got is this uh, Cobblestone Demi Sec, which is the only semi sweet wine that I did get. And I had this is a new one to me. I haven't got it from them before. So we'll try it. I don't know. I'm not convinced I'm going to like it. We'll see. I might have to give it to my mother. I don't know if my expectations were just really high because because of who wrote the book. Um, I read all of Riley Sager's other books, which there are four of, and I gave three of them four stars and then the one I read last week five stars. Um, so I don't know. I just like... Of all, you, know, you imagine authors have so many like book ideas of all the ideas to like move forward with. I was like, this, like this was the one, I don't know. And then last I got this uh, a Marquette American Dry Red Wine. So I don't know what the difference between this one and the Creekside Red is going to be, but I've never tried it before. The label is really pretty. It's kind of like matte and it's like jagged on the edges. 
yeah so i'm excited to try this one um that's my thoughts on survive the night and is my fish dying i want to finish malibu rising before i complete like close out this vlog but i didn't get too far into it i have i'm not even to 200 pages yet um so i don't know when i'll update you next hopefully it'll be about thoughts on malibu rising because i really am enjoying it so far i'm just like having a hard time not getting distracted while reading it is really the issue <music>